For the longest time, Goodreads was the platform for keeping track of the books you were reading, the books you own, just everything that had to do with your progress when it comes to the books you're reading. Well, that's no longer the case. And believe me when I say it's contender is so, so, so much better. And I definitely, definitely jump ship. And that is Storygraph. Guys, let's get into it. Dumb, you entitled brat. Terror. I don't believe any. Hi, my name is Shelly. If you do not know, I obviously love reading and I love books and just talking about them, just everything about them. But right now, we're really going to look into how we actually track the progress of the books that we're reading. Because if you're like me, you need organization. You need to know what's going on because do you see this? I need to actually keep track and know where everything is, how far along I'm in my book, whether or not I started the book, whether I did not finish it and need to like cancel the sequel whatever's going on i need something to track my book progress end of and last year i finally gave in and i genuinely started using goodreads and it was an okay platform you know i was just like okay this is good i can keep track but at the end of last year i found out about storygraph and i said okay i'm going to give it a shot i'm never ever looking back and believe me you should do the same Let's get into why Storygraph is the place to be and why everyone on Goodreads needs to jump ship. Let's get into it, okay? First and foremost, let's be real. Let's be honest, guys. We don't really want to be supporting Amazon as much as we have been in the past. We don't really want to be giving Jeff Bezos any more money than he already has. And obviously, Goodreads is owned by Amazon. So they're really just getting our money one way or the other. And Storygraph is owned by a woman plus and a black woman at that another plus so not only would you be supporting a diverse um woman in the industry in the literature world then you would also be like taking away some money from amazon just a bit i mean who knows how much it will affect them but any little bit counts right so that is honestly the first first plus okay when it comes to actually joining storygraph but let me actually be honest i didn't know that you know it was owned by a black woman when I first like found out about it, but that just ended up being a positive. So who knows? I got lucky, but let's actually get into the app itself. Okay. So first and foremost, let's talk about the actual user experience, the user interface, how easy it is to get around. Storygraph beats Goodreads, no question. When I first got Goodreads, it took me like a good month to truly figure out how to do everything. And with Storygraph, it's so, so, so user-friendly. When you get to the homepage, everything is laid out like just amazing. Like you just know where everything is. Everything is really simple to use. Mm. Goodreads, I was flipping left, right, and center. Where is this? Where is that? Where is this and the other? And with Storygraph, it's just so, so simple. Now, a good thing about Storygraph is also like how you get your recommendations. When you first sign up to Storygraph, it asks you to like put in your preferences. Do you like dark novels? Do you like fantasy? Do you like, you know, liter um, literary fiction? Whatever it is, it just asks you what are your preferences and it uses AI to then start um, generating recommendations for you and the good thing about like the recommend the, the preferences that you put in you can always change it later on so if like a year later you know you seem to be reading a bit more um, let's say romance than you did before you can change your preferences and then you'll be getting romance recommendations so that is honestly so so entertaining um, it was really really funny to see like some books that I already have or, or already thinking of buying were on that list and I was just like this is how I know that this is a good app because you and I are on the same wave you are giving me the recommendations that one um some of them I already have two some of them I were, was already planning to read and three some new ones that I never even heard about but I can guarantee these are going to be great so that was an amazing amazing plus from Storygraph Goodreads Goodreads honestly you get what you get they kind of just kind of throw random recommendations and some might be hits but some are misses because they don't actually base it off much obviously the more and more you use it maybe they'll start to give you more recommendations based on who you follow who you have read before but it's really just good to get like great recommendations from the onset so storygraph really just won immediately and i loved it for that now another thing with um storygraph is 
how you can actually rate the books and an amazing part of like tracking your books is the rating system obviously because you just want to know okay did i like this author did i like the you know what's going on and obviously because it's a it's an app you can actually see the previous ratings what other people rated it and then that can you know base whether or not you buy a book now with goodreads goodreads has the classic five star rating system that we're all used to storygraph takes it a step further and so like they have 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 and so you know like that feeling when you when you read a book and you're just like you're not a four star but you're not a three you know you, you you are above a three but you're still not a four and you just need to squeeze it in the middle and goodreads doesn't really give you that it doesn't give you it doesn't play with those little nuances of like being a reader and like having just really really strong opinions when it comes to a book and so i love that story graph just gives us that option it just says okay you know what a book might not be a five star but it's a 4.75 it's very very close so even that small detail really just puts story graph high and higher for me and i absolutely love that they did that it really just made the experience so 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 much more fun and i love it also another thing about storygraph is how um books are rated so when you finish a book or when someone else finishes a book how the um the actual rating happens before the actual star rating so when you finish the book there is the case they ask you like a series of questions was this character driven was this plot driven was it fast paced um was there a lot of character development were there diverse characters you know they ask you these questions and you don't have to answer them but you know you can answer them and what's great about that is when other people review it Obviously, when you're looking at that book, you can see what other people have said and it just gives you more and more detail about a book without having to like read a long review. I genuinely do love reading long reviews because I love when people like really put effort into like saying uh, what they thought about a book. But if you are in a hurry and you kind of just want to buy a book and you don't want to read too much, you can kind of get the general gist of how good the book was and if it fits or if it aligns to what you are looking um, for. And then at the end of all of those questions is when you have the option to put a star rating. So that's just really, really great just to be able to like see like those like hit points. You can see fast pace, slow pace, medium pace. Okay. Character driven, plot driven, diverse, no diverse. Like you just see all of those in the actual ratings of the book and it's just really, really fun. And another thing that I like about how like they rate books is that um, they also give um, the option for you to pick the type of mood of a book. You guys know the mood that I'm talking about. Was it dark? Was it angsty? You know, so it actually gives us a lot of options for us to pick. And guys, if you're a mood reader like me, or if you're someone who really sometimes picks a book from vibes and vibes alone then that is so 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 beneficial because you're just like oh this book was just funny oh vibes okay great it was dark Ooh, like it just helps for you to actually know what you're getting into and also help who you know people who are going to um look for the book later on so it's really 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 fun and as you can probably know what i'm going to say good reach does not have that option <laughs> um and another thing um, with how Storygraph is set up is um, from the minute that you have um, the app, the minute that you create your account, like they organize their books in a sense of like, oh, read, to be read, owned. Um, and they even have an option that says did not finish. Like, Storygraph already has those preset like options for you. And so, you know, you can just you know say oh i've read this i'm going to read it and it puts it in you know you know your customized shelves and stuff like that which is really really great now another thing which i really really appreciated from storygraph is the fact that it's very interactive or help and helpful um for the community the reading community um because both like author and readers can um, edit and add details. For example, there's a book that I got that, you know, it's from a self-published author and Storygraph does have a lot of those books, but this book is fairly unknown. And when I went on Storygraph, I couldn't find it. It wasn't on there. Um, and this happens with Goodreads a lot as well. You know, some books just aren't, aren't there. I'm um, just aren't on there. You know, if they haven't gotten the hype, or if they're new and they're self-published, you know, it takes a while before they get on there. And sometimes some books still don't get on there. With Goodreads, if it's not on there, you're just screwed. It's just not on there. Um, but 
with Storygraph, you actually have the option to like, you know, scan the barcode um, and have it put on there, or, you know, you can just manually put it on there. Obviously with books that are like that, um, sometimes some details are missing, but at least you can still keep track of that book. You know, you can still track your progress through that book. And as people come along, they can fill in those details. So I like that, you know, that collaboration, interaction, you know, <laughs> like just that, you know, community is helping to like, keep everyone together and helping everyone to really just keep track of their books. So I really, really love that, you know, we can put things on there. Um, and another part um, that Storygraph, um, another thing that Storygraph does that I enjoy so far, I haven't done so much of this, but so far I've enjoyed what I've seen is that they have like these, in, um, they have like these giveaways and these challenges. I know that there are some giveaways on um, Goodreads. I know that. Um, but outside of like, you know, your reading goal challenge that you set for the year on Goodreads, there are no other challenges. Like it's just, you set your goal and that's it. Storygraph also has a set, you know, goal challenge, but they also just have random challenges that you can create or that you can join a challenge that someone else has created. Um, and there are just quite a lot that you can join. So there's like reading across different countries challenge. And at the beginning of the year, there was this challenge to read every day. Um, in January and I joined that challenge and I love that I joined it simply because it really really got me into the habit of consistently reading and you know obviously there are other places that you can do that but to have that on your book tracking app it really just it really just makes that app just the entire package it just has everything in there so it has the giveaways and the challenges and the giveaways are usually open to like a wider like range of countries every giveaway i've seen on goodreads has been america and quite frankly as someone who lives in the uk it's getting frustrating i i, I keep getting annoyed with the fact that everything is america exclusive now, even when some things are in the UK, I know sometimes it's an ebook, so it's not it's not always a physical copy that I'll win or whatnot. But I still have the opportunity to enter. Okay, okay, <laughs> and I'm sure that on Goodreads, I'm sure that they have, you know, giveaways where they do um, open up to the UK and they have ebook options and all of that. I I'm just saying that, yeah, I've seen very few, but you know. I, I have to make a comment on it because that is my experience. And so we're just going to get the real deal. Now, one thing I have to say about Goodreads and Storygraph, where Goodreads might be like um, higher rated on Storygraph, depending on who you are, is um, the social aspect. Now, Goodreads, you know, they have these boards, these discussion boards. It's very like outside of reviews, you can actually like, create groups and you guys can have like um, um conversations on there storygraph does not have that much of a social aspect you can follow people see what they're reading you know see their reviews but you cannot chat to people like they don't have that part now i know that you know the book community we're very we can be very very like you know close knit together um and so it would be great to have that bit of interaction on storygraph but quite frankly guys we have book talk bookstagram booktress um booktube we have a lot of spaces to be social okay so i'm not faulting it for not having that and maybe in the future they will actually have that um aspect of it but if they never add it i genuinely am not bothered <laughs> i'm not bothered um the other part that goodreads has is obviously what one of the things that they're known for is the goodreads choice award at the end of the year um and since I've only um, just joined Storygraph, I don't know if they have that. Um, but from what I've seen, um, from what I've heard people say, they don't have that. But once again, it can be something that probably will be implemented in the future. But if it's not, honestly, who who is it hurting, truly? Especially because Goodreads is so biased when it comes to those awards that I don't even listen. I don't even, I voted and quite frankly, the same people win as in the same people with the big fandoms and so really really good books that really deserve more hype generally don't get the accolades that they deserve because the other fandoms have whooped them out so quite frankly goodreads awards have has lost a lot of value to me i see not much value in it so that is not even a win on its side we're just going to skedaddle you you have nothing you have nothing for me there 
but when i tell you guys storygraph is truly the place to be just every part of it is whooping good reads every single part of it is just better <laughs> it's just amazing it even there's that ease of use you know the obviously the the diverse ownership and the fact that it's not amazon owned okay support small businesses um support entrepreneurs as well and just you know those extra little things that they have like the you know the star rating the mood rating and before i end and this is one of my favorite parts of storygraph is how they help you to like visualize your progress through the year storygraph and I'm pretty sure most people have, you know, this is probably their favorite part as well. We see the graph and story graph and how they help us keep track. So, so, so many graphs like pie charts and bar, ch um, and bar charts. Like, it's just so amazing. So they'll be like, they'll, you know, they'll have a pie chart of your pace. You know, what's the pace that you've been reading? Like, honestly, most of my books have been um, fast paced. But then for the most, um, I have like some um, medium pace there. And then um, obviously you can track by month. How many pages did you read? How many books did you read? Um, what's the overall mood of the books that you've been reading? What's the overall genre of the books that you've been reading? Like I have a very diverse genre, which is, you know, very interesting to me because obviously fantasy always has subgenres, um, and they count all of that as well. So, you know, you just have so many graphs. One, I'm a visual person. So that's absolutely amazing for me. And two, if you are on bookstagram, this is perfect for making posts. When I do my monthly recaps, I always add them like this year for the last like three months. I've always had a graph in there and I don't have to, have to like make them, you know? I know some people before Storygraph, they were making their own on Excel and I considered doing that, but I don't have to now because Storygraph has done it for me, okay? So if you need that, there's that added benefit. Guys, I can really just, I can say more about Storygraph because it's really just fun, it's easy to use and it just makes keeping progress like of your reading so, so, so much easier. But I don't think I need to, sell anymore because you should be sold by now Storygraph is the way to go so believe me whatever you're doing drop it right now and go join Storygraph and if you're thinking it's already the middle of the year I've already started to track my progress and I can't be bothered like doing it all over again especially if you're someone who reads a lot and you've already read like 50 books this year don't worry Storygraph knows who their customer base is and I think this is a bit cheeky but I also think it's very very smart bus uh, business wise and for a reader it's just it, it just makes you appreciate them more so basically you can actually when you create your account you can actually transfer your data from Goodreads to Storygraph like directly and everything will be transferred so you know what if you know you're hesitating because you don't want to take the time to transfer everything over they already have that sorted. So what are you waiting for? Like literally nothing should be stopping you. Believe me, Storygraph is the place to be. Go and join it now. And <laughs> guys, believe me, you will not regret it. I know this was like a mini rant, but I truly have fallen in love with Storygraph. But if you do want to hear more, then, you know, stop by. I obviously will have more than just me complaining about Storygraph. There will be reviews and recaps and just really fun bookish challenges. So be sure to like, comment, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <music>